Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am at Empire Coach Builders who make the most incredible horse boxes. We're going to be going inside the factory, seeing how they're made and then looking at a horse box worth half a million pounds. Let's go. Okay, so I'm inside the factory now. It's quite loud in here, but this is how all of these lorries start out. This is the chassis of the lorry. So we're gonna have a look how they actually turn it into the ones we're used to seeing at these big horse events. So we move on from the chassis, come up these, uh, these steps ready to get vertigo. And you can see we've now got the body of a lorry it's still not really looking like the horse box as we know and love. There's holes in it down there. The windows are in and all the lovely glass. Still a bit of work, so I'm gonna try and find James and we're gonna talk about how these lorries transform from this to a beautiful big horse box. There's just random little holes, obviously for the tie up rings, but it's so weird seeing it in its naked form. Probably a tack locker here, I'm guessing. Hmm, spacious. Around the other side of the lorry now, a lot more holes. This has got a serious amount of storage, this lorry. You can also see into the back here, this is the horse compartment. No joke, bigger than my kitchen at home. It's very spacious. The ramp, obviously a little bit gappy at the minute. It's not, not complete but you can certainly see it's starting to take its form. Okay, so I'm joined with James here, who is the director of Empire. Can you tell us a little bit more about the building process of these massive horse boxes? Sure, so we start with a vehicle base frame. So you've got the, uh, basically it just comes as a chassis cab. That's what I've seen just Which you've just there. seen over there. Okay, good. Um, and then basically we build from that up everything to do with the horse box. So you've got the, the steel framework on the underneath the vehicle, um, and then we uh, put the sides on, the aluminium roof, um, aluminium cladding on the outside, and build the internals from there. Blimey, and what is everything actually made of? That might sound like a stupid question, but like the ramp, for example, so what's that made of? So ramps, basically, you uh, create a steel framework, um, and then we aluminium clad them, as you've got one over just over there. Okay. So you've got steel framework, aluminium cladding on over the top, aluminium planking on over the top, um, and then we put a, a sure foot rubber footing um, rubber over the top of that. That's so pretty sturdy. Yeah. Um, we only use aluminium planking. We've been using it for about 12 years now, I think. So um, it's just very strong, um, very resilient, uh, and never kind of rots or you can never get any of those sort of problems that you would do if uh, with existing companies that use a lot of wood and it's still in the framework. Yeah. A lot stronger and a lot safer for your yeah. horses. So this truck behind us, do you say that's a 26 So this is a 26 tonne, tonne uh, going to be an Empire Ultimate um, being built for an event rider um, and yeah it's, it's got one slide out to it, um, not our standard layout so they've put the slide out to the passenger side of the vehicle rather than the driver's side. Um, but again, because it's a customised vehicle, you can have it how you like it. Um, so that's been rearranged for them. Um, and then it's got things like um, freezer lockers, so you've got an ice locker. This is incredible, <laughs> I can't believe it's got this feature. Um, so ice locker on a pull-out shelf where you can get all your ice boots or your gin and tonics, depending on what you want. Either or. What you're either or. Um, <laughs> and things like coded door locks on the outside of the vehicle, so it's completely keyless access to it. Wow. Um, the vehicle itself, is built out of a, a reinforced glass tonight, and then we overlay that with a three mil aluminium panel. So it's very, very strong. And how long does it take to actually build one of these boxes? Manufacturing process on something like this, this big, is approximately six months from start to finish. I mean, that's impressive because it, it's essentially like a house. It is so. a house on wheels, yeah, basically. <laughs> it's a house on wheels. Amazing, right. Is it all right with a little nosy inside? Yeah, of course you can. Fab. Okay, so we're inside this half-built 26-tonne horse box now. Looks a little bit different from what I've seen before. Can you talk us through a bit, James? Um, so in here we are literally half-built. We've got the ceiling panels basically uh, completely finished. So uh, you've got the skylights built, uh, built in. We've obviously had to put the insulation in before that. Um, then put the wiring in and the lighting in. Um, put two skylights in this one um, because the living is so large that obviously it just needs more than one. Um, and then in the back here, in the front here, sorry, 
Um, we've obviously started the first fit, if you like, so the external lighting has been put in and the, the boarding uh, has been put in for the extra skylights that will go into this huge king-size bed. I can't get over how big this is. <laughs> It's wild. So on the Ultimate, we've designed this new pod because of the customer feedback, basically wanting a much larger bed space. So um, it's certainly large. Uh, <laughs> and um, they're selling, we seem, seem to be selling them quite well at the moment. So. Um, and then there's another bed over there. So how many people would this sleep? So uh, will this be a sofa? Yeah, so that you can make up into a bed as well. So it'll easily sleep six in here, um, easily. Um, wow. So yeah, so you're on your, you're on your kind of, in stages of this vehicle, you're on your second fit. We'll start the cabinetry process next week. And we've already designed and organized with the customer where we're putting the cabinetry um, and how we're having it laid out. So like where she wants her fridge freezers, um, the microwave, the cookers, etc. cetera. Um, so that will be starting to be installed next week. Um, and then you're on your final fit of like your upholstery, soft furnishings, all that kind of stuff to go in after that. And they get to choose all of that. They choose they? all of that. She's chosen all of the wall colors, the floor coloring, uh, the, uh, the, the cabinetry, the worktop, um, the, uh, the, even the, the colour of the ceiling panels, um, you can have completely custom. Um, so yeah, everything is everything on these sort of spec of vehicles is, is completely customised to the vehicle's, custom, uh, vehicle's request, basically. So dreamy. It's like your own little interior yeah. design project. Okay, let's have a little look in the horse compartment. We've made it into the horse compartment now. First thoughts that it's so airy, like three skylights, that's amazing. Yeah, so in the Empire Ultimate, we have a nine foot internal horse height. So it's like the Oakley Supremacies um, or the Sovereign Emperors. So you've got loads and loads of head height in the horse area. Um, but what we do different is obviously you've got the massive skylights. So there's three in here um, and you've got two fans. Um, that work at 850 revs per minute. So they're massive high capacity fans. Um, that produces a lot of airflow into the horse area. So on a really hot day, yeah. you know, you're gonna get still bring them, bring the temperature down in here. Yeah. Um, I'm obsessed with ventilation uh, because I'm an event rider myself. <laughs> session, but okay. So because I'm an event rider myself, I like to make sure the horses have got plenty of airflow. So the windows are oversized, the skylights are oversized, the fans are over capacity compared to normal. So yeah. Really nice environment. Yeah, you've got to have a really nice environment for the horses. And how many is this stalled for? Uh, so this one's going to be for six. six. Um, and obviously at the moment you've got the aluminium planking down, um, but then we'll put the one piece rubber over the top of that. Um, the ladies asked for very deep uh, lockers into the horse area. So normally we don't make them quite as deep as that, but everything's customised, so yeah. that's not a problem. Um, we'll overlay that with a uh, uh, 6.5 mil uh, high density rubber. And then that, the top of that will have um, aluminium over the top of that as well. So it's completely watertight and completely sealed. Um, and then obviously we've got five uh, stainless steel custom petitions to go in here to make the six, six bays for the horses. Amazing. It looks huge. I can't get over how it's like a bowling alley. <laughs> it's a big it's old truck. Enormous. Right, I think we'll have a last walk around the factory if that's all right. Push and then go. go and have a look at the finished product. Yep. You may be able to tell that my eyes have just lit up because I've seen the Empire Ultimate just here worth half a million pounds. And we're going to go have a little tour. goodness this is incredible I'm actually speechless that really does not happen very often it's so spacious wow all right I feel like we need to have a good look around okay so let's start in the heart of the home which is of course the kitchen it is kitted out it's actually kitted out better than my kitchen at home not gonna lie because that needs doing so up here, we've got a microwave, as Nigella would, uh, would call it. Beautiful. A nice little freezer. So if the freezer outside isn't enough, more ice in here, maybe some ice creams. A little fridge, or not so little fridge. And then just many a cupboard. All of your herbs and spices can go in here. Oh goodness, wow. 
So you've got three cupboards, all beautifully spring-loaded as well, might I add. We've got some little drawers. Oh, the remote for the telly. Just spotted her. Okay, more drawers, more drawers. Is that a dishwasher? I've literally not even got a dishwasher. Like, I've not got a dishwasher at home. That's crazy. Okay, dishwasher there. We've got a hob. We've got a beautiful sink. This work surface is lovely. And then a little plug thing, which I'm guessing goes down, but I'm, oh, there's a button. I'm scared to push it, I don't wanna break it. This is worth more than my house, I'm gonna leave it. More cupboards down here. That's a pretty good space. Gordon Ramsay would be pleased. Oh, hi guys, you just caught me having a nap on this gigantic bed. I'm not being funny. Let me just starfish a second. It's a full on Meg wide with arms, arms are spread and actually extremely, extremely comfortable. So if you haven't guessed, I'm actually up in the Luton right now. So I'm above where you'll be driving. There's a television up here, you know, if you want to watch a little bit of Elphick event ponies while you're out eventing, pop it on, enjoy it. We've also got a reading light for people that like to read. Not myself, but you know, beautiful skylight as well. So it doesn't feel at all claustrophobic up here. <sighs> Honestly, I'm actually gonna draw these back and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm now down oh, on the most luxurious sofa ever. I believe this can also be made into a bed. So I think this can sleep too, up there can sleep too, and then there's another bed that you haven't actually seen yet that can sleep another two. It is huge. So for anyone that doesn't know, I am lucky enough to have a beautiful Empire horse box. We bought ours just before going to Badminton 2019. It's not quite as uh, big and plush as this one, but the quality is the same. And you can see that all the way through from their seven and a half tons, right the way up to these gigantic 26 plus tons. It is amazing. The quality is fantastic. It's functional, but also absolutely beautiful. Like little things like the pillows matching the curtains. Okay, so picture this. You've just made a beautiful tartar flight in the kitchen. You've enjoyed it on your spacious table, but you're gonna sit down afterwards, wait for your dressage scores to come in and watch a bit of telly. Oh, that went down faster than I thought. Okay, so this does come up to provide a little bit of headroom when you're walking through. But when it comes to nighttime, pop it down and you've got another enormous bed up here. So this will sleep another two people. We've got the beautiful curtains again. And I don't know if you've ever had it, guys. I've had it with Hobbit all the time. She wants to sit and watch Downton Abbey. I want to put a bit of Top Gear on. It's fine because we've got another TV right there. <laughs> Okay, so I'm up front now. Guys, look at this, all right. Okay, gonna sit down. Air cushioning in the seat, it's incredible. I feel like I'm sat on a cloud. Anyway, I've not got my HGV and I don't actually think even if I did, I'd be allowed to drive this beautiful horse box, but oh, it feels good to be sat up front, not gonna lie. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you what most of the buttons do here. Like I said, I'm not qualified to drive a big lorry. However, I can tell you that there is a little camera into your horse's compartment here because I have it in my lorry. It's really good. You literally flick it on and you can see absolutely everything. So you can make sure they're all okay whilst you're driving. Can I beep it? No. Okay. Okay. Into this amazingly spacious bathroom. We've got a little toilet, we've got this beautiful basin here. Obviously you'll be able to fill the lorry up with water. So you'll have running water, hot and cold. You've got some storage underneath, beautiful. What looks like granite work surface here. Probably isn't granite, but you know, we move. More storage up there and also a heated towel rail. Just amazing. Oh goodness, you've caught me in the shower. This actually pops out. I'm currently stood outside of the lorry and there is a glass roof above me. It just makes it feel like you're in a really bougie hotel, like you're in a rainfall shower. 
I think it would be awesome if it was chucking it down with rain and you were just in here showering away. Okay, into check on my horses. All six of them, as this is actually stalled for six horses. So we've got a camera up there that links to the one that I showed you guys in the front of the cab. Like I said, it films down over all of your horses so you can see that they're doing okay whilst you're driving along. We've also got four skylights and three fans. Like James was saying earlier when we were in the lorry that was being built, Ventilation is key for the horses. You've got to try and keep them cool and comfortable. A lot of these lorries are going abroad, so it's really important on a hot day that the horses are kept comfortable and happy. These stainless steel partitions, they look super smart, but they're also very practical because they are very strong. They've got the kick boards underneath, and obviously the bars here stop your horses nipping each other. There's also some storage units up there. They're all barred, so nothing's gonna fall down on your horses. You can pop all your rugs up there, maybe some buckets. It is a really nice space in here, super airy and super light. You can see why the horses would love to travel in an empire. Alrighty, I feel like we've had a good look around the interior of this beautiful horse box. This has all been custom built, so it's exactly what the client has chosen. But if I just pop this up, give us a bit of headspace, we're gonna take a look around the outside because we all know that is also a very important area. Woo! Spring-loaded door, out I come. So, this lorry actually has three pop-outs. This one here is the uh, the kitchenette and then if we wander around the other side you'll be able to see where the sofa pops out and also the shower. So let's wander around and see these other two pop-outs. Ta-da! Here they are. So this is where the sofa was at, remember? I was sat watching a bit of telly. That's where the sofa is and down here is the shower cubicle. You can really get a better idea of what it was like inside when you see it from the outside. But these pop-outs are such an amazing feature because it adds so much space when you're inside the lorry. Obviously, when you're driving along, they, uh, they use hydraulics to go in maybe, that sounds fancy, but they'll go in, get to your show, you can hook up and they'll come out. All of a sudden, you have got this enormous space inside the lorry. However, this isn't the only thing that's interesting about the outside because obviously, we need to have a good look inside all of the compartments because that's where our tack and all of our show gear is going to be going. Right, let's have a look in here. So open, twist. Oh my God. Hang on, how do I open this bad boy? There's a washing machine. I did not know that was in here. That is absolutely wild. Okay, so we've got the washing machine down there and then Wow. The funniest thing, guys, is the fact that I can currently see Nick just lying across there, but we'll ignore that. This is huge. I think you could fit one, two, three, four, five Nicks in here, so it's very spacious. I don't know if you noticed, but automatic lights came on as soon as I popped my head in. You're not going to be losing anything in there. Incredible. Right, let's keep going. Just like that. The ramp is down and you can go and unload your horses. Another cool feature is it's actually got two doors. So you've got a little jockey door here, you can climb in through the steps. Also, keyless entry, which means no one's gonna be getting into your lorry without you knowing. The best part about an electric ramp is obviously that you can get it up with literally the push of a button. No effort required at all. Right, let's go look at these compartments. Let's have a look inside these. Ha ha. I think we've got ourselves a bridle locker. So you can see six hooks there along the back. You've got some extra ones on the side, put some breastplates in. Again, it's beautifully lit.
So we've got loads more storage here, but perhaps the coolest feature is that you've got your fourth television, which is an outside one. So you can be tacking up your horses, having a barbecue, you can have the live event that you're currently at playing, or just, you know, Elphick event ponies. Like and subscribe, all right, guys? Hint, hint. Did I or did I not just mention about having a barbecue? I swear I did not know about this. <laughs> but here we have a barbecue built into your lorry. Have a burger, have a sausage, why not? And below, we've also got the freezer that we saw earlier. So part of the idea behind this was if you're out eventing, a lot of the top horses wear ice boots when they get back from cross country. So you can store all of your ice boots in here. They're ready to go as soon as they get back. Failing that, a bit of champagne, some G&Ts, keep them nice and cool. So you might have been wondering, do you have to ride bareback for an Empire lorry? No, you don't, because we have found the saddle compartment here. You can fit eight saddles in here. You know, you've got to account for having dressage saddles, jump saddles. But the coolest thing is that they actually come out like this. So you're not going to be battling trying to get your saddles out. It's going to be super quick and easy for all six horses to be tacked up and go off eventing. Right, she's purring away, keys are in. I'm going to take her home. Thanks for watching, guys. I really don't know how to actually drive this thing. Nick? Here again. Flying low. <laughs> There's two TVs. Oh. Oh hey! Didn't you? St I can't speak. <clears throat> Sorry. Nah. What? Right. Look. Sit down. Yeah. <laughs> no way! It's like a roller coaster. You can also have a little peek at people. That's a bit. Probably shouldn't do that. Lovely shower though. <laughs> Ooh, delicious. Let's get something from the fridge. Oh, look at that! It's only sort of Y food. Thank you very much. Is that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby, never, never do that for never, 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 any I've got a drippy nose. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,